Hi. It's good to have you. Hi, thank you. Yeah, that's right. So that we have, um, Stephen is, makes my, is my producer, right? And he um, is amazed at how fast I can forget things. I am Mary Gunn, a Mary Gunn Fun Founder and Head Professor at Fun University, but I never forget to show up. So that's half the battle. And um, anyway, this is Craft Roulette, and this is episode 14. You'd think that we got through 13 and I'd have it down. Just float right through it. Maybe 15 will be the one that I remember everything. Um, nah. Uh, it's okay. Welcome, welcome. This is a paper crafting game show where we uh, have some fun together, where we can play together and I get to make stuff and we get to chat and it's all good. Um, there is sometimes, there we go, I'm just making sure everything is running smoothly like a, like a well-oiled machine. Thank you. Do share like Sue's sharing. We're going to ask everybody, say, to Sue, kiss your brain, because you are doing such a great thing. And um, let's get some friends here tonight on this hot, hot summer night. But hot, the temperature's not the only thing hot. We are hot crafters. And you may say, what is craft roulette? Well, um, craft roulette is, is probably about time now, right? Yeah. Let me show you what craft roulette is. What is Craft Roulette? Craft Roulette is a paper crafts game show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for. Project, Colors, Element, and Random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. While we try to keep each episode under an hour in length, the fun doesn't stop there. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to post pictures of your project in the video's comments. See your work featured on next week's episode and on craftroulette.live. Back to the show. And there you have it. Does it make sense to you? Have you ever, we've got some veterans here playing with us. They've been here a lot of weeks, which is really fun to see. People I never got to know before, and now I do. By the way, winners from last week, your mail just went out today, so um, hang in there, and you're going to get it, especially in Miss, Al Miss Alberta, Canada. So, um, shall we? The next thing I'd like to do is show off some of the submissions from last week. We had kind of a fun, um, the only tricky part at all was a folder card, but look, let's watch and see what everybody did. Okay, so the project was a folder card. The colors that we used were baby colors. Well, we've decided as a group of wonderful crafters that baby colors is just about anything. Um, the element that we were supposed to incorporate was birdhouses, and the random part of the evening was using a sanding block. So um, this was a card that I made during the show, and uh, it was fun. We well, first we had the three houses on there, and it just looked kind of empty. So we, I got two more houses, and it turned out just fine. That was the the little bless this nest and the little birds were already in the kit that I had stamped years ago, and so um, and just tucked it in. <laughs> <laughs> stamp and so I just use that for the colors and then made my own little clouds so that was a that was my founding card thing then I always make a, a few more and this was one that I did make um, it was a little tag card like you know you have to have tags and flags and things like that on a folder so that's how I was um, justifying that one and then I made the car the little birdhouses on my own because I had a Patty I think was saying she didn't have a stamp I said, oh, you don't have to have a stamp. You can just make them like this. So um, I just showed her how to do that. They turn out really cute that way. Um, I don't know where I, I turned. I made some more, and they were like weathered wood, and then I flipped them over, and they look like beach houses. So uh, anyway, yay, Joyce is here. Thank you, Sue. Kiss your brain. Kiss Joyce's brain. <laughs> we're glad to have you. Um, this is just one of the cards that I put on my blog. You can find all the craft roulette shows on craftroulette.live by the way and here's another one see the little 
folder right up there that says amazing. Now the trick on this card, I would really like to have some closure because I don't know what stamp that amazing came out of. And so it's just been sitting on a block here on my mask all week. And um, anyway, that was a kind of a pretty one filled it with not birds, but with some little pastel flowers and lots of hearts because it's baby colors and things. So anyway, that was just whole, so completely different takes on one using one set of parameters. Now, ready for this? There's a whole bunch more coming. Here is Christy. This was her first time to watch it and she, this was her first submission, obviously. And um, not only that, she had that done like within a couple hours and, and submitted right here on the, on the video that that would like tonight if you want to submit you'll submit right here on this video and she has those cute little bird faces and i think they're all just punched out circles with little triangle noses beaks and uh oh my gosh we have a flicker woodpecker that comes to our feeder that guy's his dagger is like that long and he knows he's not afraid to use it at all but i thought that was real cute and she's got the little cheep cheep up there cheep cheep it's very cute it's baby bird season too. So Chrissy, welcome to the group on this and, and playing with us. It's great. Isn't that super cute? You're right, Melody. This is Ariel's submission from Missouri. This was her first time too. So I think that was, and it's a literal um, file, which is real cute. And then she did some crazy good fussy cutting to get all those little flowers and birdies and nest and tree and leaves. That's a whole lot of cutting. And, um, and she did a great job. That's not always easy. You can get some sharp corners when you want rounded edges. And then you can see where she filed or sanded the pink and it shows the white because it's a white core um, cardstock. And uh, I think it's really cute. Very, very charming. She cheats, Sue says. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. But it is very cute and we're real glad that you submitted. And I think that was your first time, so yahoo. This is Sue, clean and, clean and simple Sue. Another wonderful design on hers. And look, she made the lines on the birdhouse so she could sand them and um, show the white core inside. She made it a, a file. She used to work in an office, so she knows what a file is and she got it done. And it's a very cute little color combination. I love the little scallops. I think it folds up. It's looking like to me. Um, and then maybe the, I, I don't know if the burlap opens with it. I think it's on the front, but it was really cute. I like the um, little pink roof. Wouldn't that be fun to have a little pink roof? I don't know where, but for something and um, the little pink heart with a hole in it that's stamped in there. So Sue, I can't remember how many weeks you have done this in a row, but we're glad to have you. You're, it's fun. You're, it's always fun. You have a very clean taste and it's always very pretty. I always want to put one more thing. <laughs> so, all right, Patty, I think I, I forgot to write it down. I think this was your eighth or ninth week in a row. And um, that means you have the longest standing record at this point, Patty Beck. And um, look how cute this is. And you can see she did a lot of sanding and she's, uh, she made a birdhouse by just making it with cardstock and not having the stamp. And it's cute. And what I told her was, I love the bushes with the little um, stamped leaves in it. I just thought that was such a cute touch. And the tree, it's great. And it, you must have, oh, I think you used an embossing folder. I think, and I think that was it. It, oh, Ariel, that's your second submission. I apologize. I get in a hurry and, fun, and excited. Okay. Um, and then you've got the pretty little clouds. Um, oh, you know what? Let me show you this while we're, while we're thinking about this. Um, oh, no, I'll just set it down. Never mind. I'll come back to it. So anyway, Patty, you are on a roll, and I hope you get another one done today or tonight, this weekend, whatever, because uh, you have a record to keep. Thank you again, Jan. You, this was your first time, I think. So um, this was, and it's a file folder. You can see how it all works. And I think that must have been a textured paper because you can see the crosshatch in it. It's really pretty. I we used to, close to my heart used to have that. I'm sure it's available somewhere, but I always liked it. It had a lot of um, heft to it. And um, I just like the texture on it. So 
Anyway, that's a pretty fancy little birdhouse for somebody to live in, and that's very nice. I'm sure they come home and just appreciate their little house to live in. And look at all those little cheapies down there peeping around going, Oh, we forgot the key. We can't get in our bird, our sunflower birdhouse. And it's, uh, I don't know really what they're talking about because I don't understand birds sometimes. But that was cute, and I'm proud of you for submitting. And, um, I like the colors a lot. They're very, very pretty. Oh, I know, Jan, I have, did have a question. Did you sew, it looks like you sewed around, which blows my mind, around the um, birdhouse. So, inquisitive minds want to know. Um, but that's, that's a really cute bird house. I think that may be it. Nope, nope. Anna Miller. Anna Miller. And I haven't seen her show up yet. But Anna Miller is our Canada girl. And she did a really cute little card um, with the pink, classic pinks and blues of baby colors. And don't, and it, her little sentiment that says, sure, do miss you. It, seriously, do they, they look like they're really sad. That's what I was thinking. I was going, holy smokes, they just... They look like they really do miss each other and they just can't figure out how to fly across the, the chasm there and, and spend some time. Maybe the house is too little. Maybe she's got too many crafts in there. No such thing. And maybe he, she said, no, honey, you can you have to go sleep on the branch because um, I'm, I'm turning my birdhouse into a craft house. So, smart bird. Anyway, that's, is that, nope. It was a marker. Okay, Jan, that you would, you didn't, um, so it, well, it sure looked like it. Oh, and there's Anna. Okay, you're eating now. Well, that's okay. We're glad to have you. Go ahead and eat. And um, anyway, so that was a cute card, and we were glad to have you. So I hope you do it again. And there we're back to me. So, all right. That is what, oh, this is what I was going to show you. We have, um, Fun University has some, SVG files in their lounge for little clouds and anyway but look how cute my friend made this for me and it has this little wooden knob and then I stamped a little thing and um, put it on top of it but anyway um, I just wanted to show you because it was so cute and so handy yes Rose you are right I loved all the cards too and to all of those submitters please kiss your brains you did great and you make this show a whole lot more interesting than just me so we love it. Um, last week, before we go to last next week, I got to tell you about some fun university. I mean, honestly, uh, you do get a month free. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> it's so much fun. You got to be there if you're a crafter. Um, this was the layout that we made or I made online this week. Isn't that just the cutest thing? And we talked about we talk about colors and using cardstock. We haven't been using any pattern paper. We haven't been using any kits. We teach you how to make your own kit so you can use your own stuff that you already have because you probably have a whole bunch. And uh, I know I do. This is the layout that I made about my cat the week before. Pretty cute, huh? This month we're talking about design, design cards or picture my life cards, things like that. And this was just a sample. So uh, because we have layouts, that we use and all sorts of stuff. So you should be there. We would love to have you. There's always room at the table for you. These were the cards that we made just this week. We make four a week. And um, there was one I will not show. And I wish I could even take it off because <laughs> it just, it's just, it was a mess. But we are having a lot of fun over there. I see a bunch of my students. And um, I think we, I think, I, I know they say they learn things. So that's, that's really what I, what I really like. Okay, Melody, we'll wait for you, sorta. Okay, so let's go to the wheel. Get this thing started. All right, like the introduction said, the wheel um, has whole bunches of possibilities and we have no idea where it's all going to land tonight. The first thing we're gonna do is just get off the number one. This is my super glue guys, and they are, their message is to, um, to the world is to keep us stuck on paper crafting. And they're doing a good job with me. So let's just see how the wheel is turning first. Yeah, Kerwin. Kerwin is just doing great, by the way. He's up to eight pounds and he's just doing great. So let's see, the first spin is for the project. Give us a good one, wheel. Two. 
a peekaboo card. Okay, all right. You guys know what a peekaboo card is? We'll make it up if we don't know, right? Let's see what colors we're gonna use. Oops, taking the wheel with me. Good heavens. We're gonna use 13. Rose Garden, Rose Garden Peekaboo. Okay, all right. Okay, doesn't mean we have to make a rose garden. It just means we have to use those colors for an element. Sherry says we do learn things. Good, good, yay. Um, lettering. Okay, all right. That is. Don't be afraid. That don't be afraid. We're here. Um, the super glue guys are here to help you. <laughs> and random. This could be a this could be a crazy week. 19. Tie-dye? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this 14 may be my downfall. 14 may be the most unlucky number I've ever had. That is the craziest thing. Okay, a peekaboo card with rose garden colors. <sighs> um, you've seen some kind of lettering and tie-dye. Come on, give me some thoughts. <laughs> this, is, this is, first we'll start with a peekaboo card. That's a good point to, place to start. Okay, so when I think of a peekaboo card, as she runs away from her mask, um, I think of like a corner turned down with something sticking out of it. Um, so it's, that's not very hard. Or having a surprise flipping thing, you know, something that you can open up and, and um, say peekaboo. <laughs> Rose garden colors would be like um, maybe a rich green. I, I did some planting today. So, <laughs> um, hmm. And then some real pretty reds or pinks, smoothie. These are all pretty. Those would be very rose gardeny. Maybe even some yellow. And I may end up pulling, you know what I might do? Tie dye, we might just do some, uh, use some re-inkers and do something with that. And that might work. That would probably work. Okay, and then what's the last one? Tie, oh, tie dye, and then lettering. Lettering. Well, we can just write um, hi or something. That's not gonna be too hard. We're, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, let me get, what, did somebody say something? Oh, let's see, make the letters tie-dyed. That's a really good idea, Jan. That is a really good idea. And can I, I suppose I could use, I suppose, I suppose it would be all right to um, use stamps for lettering, don't you think? I think it would be. I don't think, I don't think it has to be hand lettered. I think we could use, okay, so then I do have some, I do have an idea. Okay. It's a little bit scary, but it's, I've got one. I do, I do, I do. Okay, I haven't done this technique in ages. So why would I not want to do it tonight? If we do like, um, if I use these big chunky letters and add some other colors with daubers, that might just be the ticket. Might be a really good idea. And then um, for a peekaboo card, I'll just get some <laughs> peekaboo card. I I read all those things before the show, and I thought, oh, I got it made. I, there's nothing I can do. I, or there's ever, I can do all of that. Oh, Kim, you're just fine. You will make a memories. You are doing step one. That a girl. I'm glad to hear it. Um, well, we got a humdinger, Kim. A true humdinger tonight. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll put it on a gray background. Because you can always have a neutral. Okay, all right, so do we want, hmm, do we want a lift up or a fold down? I think I want a fold down. I wonder what, what, let me see what this is gonna look like. Let's go back down to off me. Okay, so what I'm thinking, 
<laughs> as my undoing starts to unravel. Um, let's see. Oh, a puddle pad for a tie-dye. That's a great idea, Sue. Stamps, canvas, or foam letters. I don't have either. Um, don't know what a peekaboo card is. Oh, you're picking blueberries. We're going to go get some next. Oh, blueberry crisp. I have a great recipe for that. Um, a peekaboo card is something that just has an element where you either pick it up and go and see something that's a prize, or you just have like a corner folded down. And then you have the surprise right here. Like peekaboo, but it doesn't have to be a person or anything. Um, yeah, Judy, I think I think we may do some, or we could might yeah, smooshing some for the letters. That might be instead of the instead of the daubers. That might be a better idea. Um, and you know, I think I might make it short too because it might, I think we might just say. Um, well, I don't know. These are pretty big. So maybe just high, something easy. Hi, and then we'll have a peekaboo, and I'm not sure what to put in the peekaboo. What to have back there? Oh, I had something else in mind completely tonight. So, so much for my prognostication. I saw a, uh, oh gosh, I saw a meme, and it said, so five years ago, when you were setting up your when somebody said to you, what are you going to be, where are you going to be in five years? Uh, nobody saw this one happening, right? <laughs> so it just, I thought that was pretty good. So I'm kind of like right out there with the prognosticators. Not very good. Looks like some great categories. Oh, so you, Kim, you think there, is it very inspiring? Okay. This would be, um, you tie dye on that one too for a pretty flower to stick up. So this may be not, and this may be yes. Hmm. Okay. So if this, <laughs> this, well, 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 this is all very fine and good. Let's go. Let's just put our big girl panties on and roll with it, right? Okay. Five and a half by four and a quarter. You're not scaring me much. Okay. And then we'll put that. It's going to be on the front, but we're not going to not going to, let's see, how much room do we want? We want to, I'm going to put a big tie-dye daisy or in there. And I'm, I, this is going to be locked down. It's not going to be like peekaboo kind of thing, but it's just something sticking out. That's my idea of a peekaboo at least. I don't know if it, anybody else's. So, um, okay, so we've got that. <laughs> That really is a funny one. But that's why we play craft roulette, let, 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 let. Okay, so we've got this little flower that I, I love this flower. I look at other aster flowers and think, oh, do I love you? But then I go, no, I don't want to two time you. I love you too much. I shan't two time you. We're in the Name the heck, is there a block? There it is. Maybe it'll fit. It's got hair on it. Not in my house, surely not. Yeah, oh, Kerwin, uh, the cat. Kerwin the cat is about four something months old. And um, he's just adorable. He's, uh, he's asleep over on my chair in my studio, which is not good because he's been asleep all day and um, that's just not always good because that means he's going to be a terror tonight. Then this could be our little peekaboo element. I just happen to have one there. It's got some tears on it. It's from last night's class. There we go. And now do I have a little piece of plastic? Oh, surely. Surely, surely, surely in Laverne. I'm looking in the trash, if you can't tell. There. There we go. Okay, so tie-dye. Do we have any, we don't have any, oh, rose, rose garden, that's right. Okay, so I've got my water brush to, to um, smoosh it around. And then we'll, um, just put some yellow, canary yellow on here. 
can't see it very well now, can you? Right, Melody, he could be up all night, which is not a good thing at all. But, you know, that's why we have doors that close. Poor guy. And he's got, <laughs> he's got a little, some new toys, and they have little bells on them. He's got a new collar that has his name on it. He's just in forever. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some water going here. Get that to move around. I don't know what it will do, but we'll mess with it. Maybe I can get some yellow over here. Okay. All right, you guys had some good ideas. Thank you. I'm going to go from the top down. Surprise me, surprise me. I want more yellow because I like yellow roses. Water, water. Where'd you go? There you are. You know what? I, I don't always just go smooshy. I come back in then and fill in the blanks. So it's not all, I'm not seeding all my power here. I want some say on this and I will have it. Dad gum it. Mine. I can do that. This little corner may not even show. But it's good to know that it's good. That should be kind of a pretty little daisy, I think. I'm encouraged. I'm, I think it might work. And I may not use that gray. This is going to have to dry. Oh, I should leave well enough alone, but... It does add some more texture, doesn't it? Okay. Well, thank you for finding you in the trash. I think I'm going to hit this with the gun just a second. Oh, this is your first time, Judy? Well, welcome, darling. <laughs> yes, Amy, I think it is a crazy craft roulette is what we've got. This is not a normal craft roulette at all. I, but I think we're going to be okay. There's our tie dye. Well, and like, you know, a hippie would be happy to wear that, don't you? I think so. Well, let's let it dry a little bit more. But let's see what it would look like as a peekaboo peek element. It will look fine. It'll look fine. Um, and then we're gonna put a flower on there, a flare on there. He's gonna fit right, oh, so he's gonna wanna come out a little bit. There's that little flare. And lettering, lettering, lettering. I think a sentiment would work for lettering, I do. And then, <laughs> this, is, this is getting easier and easier for me. Um, then a sentiment, maybe right there. Hmm, this could be about anything, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I do, I do, maybe hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Early cell phone days. Hello, hello. Um, maybe cut this down a little bit and then maybe mat it with some rose colored something. That might be a good idea. It might not be a good idea, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. See if I can find something to cut with. There we go. We're going with it. And I, I took this thing off and I can't find it and so now almost um, all my cuts are wonky, but that's the way it goes. It's just the way it is. Well, so what do you think, Judy? <laughs> is it what you thought it was going to be? It's, um, it's pretty fun. It's, uh, you just never know what we're going to end up doing. I think we need, maybe I should do green instead of that because gray is kind of like pretty boring. 
I don't know what color green to do quite, but we could, mm -hmm. we could also put like the green here or here. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. I wonder if we do it this way. This doesn't have to be a moving peekaboo element either. You, you could. You could put the sentiment in there too. It would be fine. Or, you know, for the green part, you could map this too. That might be pretty. Might be. Might not be. But it might be. And then the flower, the flower is a lot of gray. Yeah, I think I'm not doing gray. Not going gray, not going gray. Well, it's a little bit late for that, but I'm not going gray there on the, on the card. So, okay, so a peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Um, there's other ways to think of peekaboos, right? Please. Um, we could have a, mm, or a, or a, mm, or just a thing on top. I don't want to cover it. Okay, let's get that, let's get that flower on there and see what that looks like. This is the flower I used a couple weeks ago, too. That, or is that, no, that was two weeks ago, with the green and yellow. So you see, I'm, I'm on a rather daisy rut i may and yeah darker green or ditch the gray i think you're right judy i don't think i like the the gray it's just not speaking to me not at all okie doke had good had a, it was good for like when we were first dating but no not anymore i think we'll just draw a stem couple little couple little things there that's fine then we've got this is that peekaboo dang it that peekaboo oh you know what might be pretty it's like um a pocket or a some the vellum you could i could do vellum i could do vellum and that would um you could peek through it you know like gauze gauzy stuff and then we've got this little stamp set i think we'll use that because it just kind of feels like it. it. Feels like this. Cute as a button. Happy We're Friends. This is by Sunna Studio. All right, all right. We're letting that. I gotta let this simmer in my brain here for just a minute. So that means, you know what that means? That means I got some cards to give away. I do. I have a couple cards here to give away. This is one that was a technique that we learned on campus and just a really handy little card for all sorts of things. So what we're going to do is get your fingers, get your fingers to your keyboard right now because it's giveaway time. Um, you've got 56 seconds to f write in a number between 1 and 24, 1 through 24. And the first one that has the number that matches the wheel when we spin in 43 seconds wins these cards. So we've got an eight. Don't double up or don't do any more than one number each. And um, make sure you don't put somebody else's number on there. So we have eight, nine, six, one, seven, eighteen. She went right up there. Twelve, thirteen. Got 20 more seconds. We can have lots more numbers. Sue, are you gonna get your, oh, Sue, somebody, Joyce took your 13. Um, what are we gonna do with that? Take a piece of film. Oh, yes, yes, I, um, we have any more? 23, four more seconds. Oh, it's getting tense, it's getting tense, it's 17, and it's time to spin. <laughs> are you ready? These are cute, by the way, all right. And we got Amy in there. Oh, we got lots of numbers. Excellent. All right. Well, pick a winner. Ten. Do we have a ten on the list? I don't think so. Ha yeah. ha! 
Here we go again. We'll get somebody. 24. Or was it 23? Harumph. 18? Christy. Christy, Christy, Christy. All we need to have you do, Miss Christy, is to DM me your address. And I will send these to you, but I will remind you I'm not fast. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, Sue always gets 13, Joyce. It's okay. You know what, though? Let's go with those same numbers and do a second set. <laughs> oh, she's going to get you, Christy. Uh, oh, no, I mean, Joyce. Nine. Does anybody have nine? Ariel. Oh, Ariel, very good. You need, I, DM me your address and I will send those to you. Be happy to do that. All right, all right. So there, we'll give away some more cards here in a little bit. I just thought we'd do a couple extras. Well, fiddlesticks, we'll just keep them right there. Okay, good, yay! Ah, you're, who's Monica? Hi, T sister. How are you, my sweet girl? I love you. Um, your oh, that's your lucky baseball player number. Well, it worked. So good deal. Nice. Okay, back to the card. I I put off as much time as I could. Worked pretty well too, didn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go over here and get some vellum. Let's see what we have. I have such a mishmash of vellum. But I think that would work for a peekaboo. Or I could even fold it down and then it would be um, fiddlesticks. Leah, fiddlesticks. Um, then it would be all good. So that's a pretty piece. We'll use that. I bet this piece of vellum is probably 10 years old. I think it's time for this vellum to get used, don't you? Good heavens. Okie doke. So we'll put this pretty little flower here. We're going to somehow or other figure this out. I'm going to I'm going to wrap it around so I don't have to worry about gluing it. So you don't have to see it. And then we'll just peekaboo this little guy right there. Okay, and we'll just pull him over to the side. Yep, I think that's, oh, that's prettier than the gray, don't you think? I do, except I don't like that fold. Okay. All right, that's, that's what we're going to do. You guys get to play too, you know. <laughs> my, my, Leah said, Leah's my daughter. Leah says, my job is to just call out Mary Gun Fun quotes. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't use all of them. <laughs> Some of them are a little salty. Where's my thing? There it is. All right. Um, yeah, Mary Fiddlesticks is definitely a Mary Gun fun quote. <laughs> oh gee. Okay, so let's see. We got this. We got our tie dyed flower here. This would make a pretty sweat t-shirt. This should be a fun university t-shirt. <laughs> Maybe we should. You guys get to play too, you know. I just, is there an echo in here? Yeah. Um, but you guys can play too. So you can be thinking about what you want for a peekaboo card. Uh, use rose, gel, rose garden colors. Use some kind of lettering, which I have yet to do. And tie-dye, of course, tie-dye. Who made this list? Oh yeah, that girl in the mirror. Okay, so well, I think I'm just gonna fold that up at that point to make this a short little peekaboo. I do, I do. Now vellum, as many of you know, shows you can see through it, but you can also see glue through it. So um, there's some tricks to using vellum so that you don't have to see nasty glue globs. Great big loads of greasy, grimy glue globs. Okay, so that would be pretty there. And then I think I will make this little 
this little fold because I'm going to go folding behind. I'm going to go ahead and cut it into it and cut a little bit of a notch out of it. Let's see how this works. Maybe I'm making problems for myself, but I don't think so. So, oh, it's not quite enough. Okay. Well, that would be one thing now, wouldn't it? Just do it this way. So that way I know how far to go in anyway. And then on the back, I don't need all this. So I'll take him off completely. Great big loads of flying vellum. Hit the screen. Sensational movie spectacular when all the vellum hit the screen. And then this guy can just wrap around for his peekaboo. Hiding all the things. There we go. Well, this is going to just be darn cute. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be darn cute. Weirdest card, but it's going to be not nearly as weird as one of the cards that I made on, on campus this week. <laughs> I'm still, I'm going to have nightmares over that card. Um, so there's that. We just need some lettering. And so maybe something else to make it cute. Well, since Lee is, well, um, hmm. Well, I was going to do, glad we're fr happy we're friends. And that, I should have done that before, but of course, why do it before? Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in white in white embossing because that will be pretty. Or, I've got that black flower. White embossing might get lost. So, maybe we do have to do that in black. Very, very big question. Um, if, mm, if we do it in black, I don't want to do it on here because I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, Matt the Green in a pink. Oh, that might be pretty. Might try that, Ariel. Um, but right now, I've got lettering to deal with. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And if I had, I could do this in pink. With nah. With nah. Okay, let's just put, you know what I like to do at this kind of terrible decision making process? Nope. Is just get some, try it. Just try some things and see what's going to work. It, because you never know. You can sit there and pontificate and proselytize and all those P words. There's some pink right there. It's just never, that really doesn't have that pink in it. But we, we could put, add some of that pink in it. Because, look at that silly pen. I keep losing things, that's nothing new. Okay, ooh, that's yellow, never mind. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink so that it picks up this pink, see what happens. Squeeze it, squeeze it, baby. Come in here with some, maybe that'll make it pick up that pink better. May not do anything. There's always that possibility. Looks like it's gonna be okay. I wanted the petals to be a little more defined anyway. So Monday, I always um, we put this we put this show and the any more samples that I come up with on MaryGunFun.com, and there is a section in MaryGunFun.com, and um, it's called Craft Roulette dot live, and you can go right there and see all the Craft Roulette fun, including lots and lots of really cute cute ideas. And one thing I really like about the way Craft Roulette dot live looks, that's, that's cute, um, is the challenge thumbnails are bigger. So you can click on them and they get big, bigger, but um, they are, they're bigger than a lot of challenge thumbnails. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. You know what else? 
maybe a little raspberry just for a oh this is the moment where i go oh this could be it this could be my doom this could be curtains i do need some curtains though so it's my curtains i hope they fit the dining room window you're still tie-dyeing get in touch with your inner tie-dyed hippie self so anyway, we, you get to be on, on the blog if when you submit before 7.30 Central Time, oh, that's cute, um, Sunday. And you do it right here on the, on the Facebook, on the Facebook. Not a Facebook, but the Facebook. Articles are important. And you just have to use the same parameters with your own interpretation. So, there we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, I think we're shaping up here. Remarkably so. I don't want too much pink. And I kind of want, not like kind of, I do want a little white around it. I think that's going to pop better. Yes, ma'am. We got a winner, winner chicken dinner right there. I'm telling you. Okay. Here you get to see the back side of the moon. Never very pretty. Here we go. That's going to be the first mat. Mm. Wrong way. Cuts the same. Doesn't feel the same. Can't do it the same. Okay. That's uno. Good enough. Good enough for the boop, boop. I hope this isn't getting too long. Close, but not too long. Oh, this is gonna end up really cute. Now I'm inspired. This is about the point where I, I start um, getting a little more relaxed and oh, a lot more relaxed and start thinking, oh, okay, now I can do some other things with this now that I know it's possible. Then I can, I start thinking, oh, now what's next will I do? What next? What next? Ooh, look at that. That's kind of pretty like that, but not pretty enough. Oh, Amy's got a big idea. <laughs> That's cool. Don't tell. I want to be surprised. That's good. Yay for you, Amy. That's a pretty little card. You know what I can do? Okay, so I do. I know what we're going to do. We're going to um, put this on. Here, wear this. I have nothing to wear. You have a tie dyed pansy. Aster? Okay, we're going to cut this part off and put the sentiment right there. <laughs> I know, it's the execution that always is a little bit tricky, but you'll do fine. I believe in you. I do. I think you'll do great. And I look forward to it. Okay, so now we have this. Um, could even have a, let's make it the right way. Could even have a little flap going over, and that might be kind of a peekaboo fun thing. So if I did that, let's get it straight. That's always a good idea. Okay, so if we put it there and it flaps over, or I could, and then I could put the sentiment right here. I think that'd be cute. And I wouldn't have to stress too much because I wouldn't have to worry about Getting it right on the card and ruining my life. So let's get placement. I don't really want to do it on here. I'm going to slide it off. <laughs> oh, I got black on it. It's okay. I can cut it off. Ugh. Lower it down. Oh, let's see what happens. A mishmash of vellum. That's right. 
<laughs> That's the old quote. Who has a mishmash of vellum? I'm glad we're friends. It's not very good. It's not stamped very well. It's okay though, because it's done. It's stamped well enough when it's done. Okay. So we will, that will be our fun little take, our fun little thing here. That will go right over that, see? And then we're going to cut that little piece off that is, that I dropped the ink on it. That is going to be good. Now can I put it, if I cut this just, a, I got just a little bit more to do, just a little bit more. What time is it? It's, oh boy, we've been working for an hour. All right, I'm going to cut that down so I can mat it on that pink. Aha, look at that pink. That pink's coming in all sorts of handy ways. I'll go down like that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How am I doing this? Not quite sure. I'll start with this. Ooh, you know, maybe that would work. No, it's stupid. Let's do it this way. Let's just stick that on there. It'll be prettier. Let's just stick that on there. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. There's no right or wrong way on this. This is about ideas and creating and enjoying our Friday night with some nice, nice people. Like you. And that can go on back or on the front. I'm not sure. <laughs> kind of like the back, but it's. I don't like seeing it. I'm only going to put the glue on this little part. You know, there would be times that I could actually put the glue on the whole thing, and that would be a problem. Dang, I'm happy with this. Thanks for your ideas, guys. There we go. Little pieces all over it. <sighs> ta-da, ta-da. Ooh, ick, ick. Ooh, ick, ick. Well, at least get the glue off. Ooh, ick, ick. I'll work on that. Okay, that's pretty. I'm happy with that. I am, yeah, we're almost done. Looky there. Barb, get a load of the parameters. Peekaboo card. So we've got this little thing peekabooing out of the vellum. Uh, rose garden colors, which is not a problem. Uh, lettering. So we counted this <laughs> because it's just, it just, uh, it just needed something. And then um, tie dye. So we tie dyed the background and I think it turned out really cute. I think uh, maybe a couple little white gems, which I'm not sure I can find at this juncture of my day. Well, maybe right here. Pearls. Pearls are always nice. Um, they're kind of big, but can't have too many big, too big of pearls. Well, if you have a little tiny neck, I guess it could have a too big a pearl. Do I want a pearl in the middle? Maybe I just need that. That might be it. Yeah, the colors are pretty, aren't they? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Thanks, Barb. I'm glad you made it, though. You need to quit working so hard. <laughs> Gorgeous colors and awesome. Yep, so it's got this little fun feature. Ta-da! 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 It sings, too. Ta-da! 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 And... If you want to, you can cover it up. No, you can't. It's stuck. Don't don't try it. It will rip. Okay, I'm good. I think I anything more. I think it will get junky. Which I can. I've done before. I know these these things to be true. Oh, I do have one cute little card. Okay, here's a cute little card. Uh, this was I, I got this cute little stamp from. My, these are the first stamps I bought that were not close to my heart in 20-some years. 
and um, I love them. This is from Sunny Studios Stamps, and it's got this three-part pot, and so I made two parts of the pot, um, and then cut a little slit there and used an old stamp from Close My Heart for the flag, so it looks like it's a little planter on a table or something, but then added just some little shred, and I think it looks cute. I like it. So, thinking that way. And now we've got this card, definitely peekaboo card, uh, Rose Garden Colors, lettering, we stamped it, the sentiment, and tie-dye. <sighs> I'm going to kiss my brain. Kiss your brains, too, because you guys helped a lot. And um, I, I dropped these next cards. But I do have another set of cards to, um, to give away. So get those fingers ready to go, because it's... Craft Roulette Giveaway Time! And I'm gonna send you some hugs. How about that? You have 52 more seconds to put your number in, 1 through 24. You only need to put in a number once, and if somebody else has already put in that number, change it. Change your number. You've got plenty of opportunity. But start doing it now, 1 through 24. We're not gonna use the old number, so get on it. <laughs> We've got, oh gosh, 16, 13, oh Sue got her 13, 9, 7, 5, 4, 16, I thought I was counting down to a takeoff, oh 16, we got two, oh that's both Anna, um, 18, 7, oops, <laughs> Anna, oops, uh, Joyce 3, Barb 12, Judy 15, ooh, got lots of numbers, and we got Anna Dang. What? What is Dang? What kind? What? <laughs> what language is Dang? What number is that? I'm I'm confused. Um, ah, do, da, Dang. Okay, here we go. Let's see who's gonna get these next cards. Yes, it's got. Okay, we got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That was a pretty good spin. Feeling my muscles after all that stress relief. Fifteen. Does anybody have fifteen? Judy! Judy! New to the show, so you, it's a good night for you, girl. All you have to do is DM me your address and I will get these into the mail sometime in the next week or two, because <laughs> that's how I roll. Um, getting out to the mailbox is just not my thing. But just DM me and I will get them to you eventually. And probably a little surprise or something anyway. <sighs> Kim still needs to get another number. Is she using the same number all the time? She kept duplicating. Oh, yeah, it's it's fast, isn't it? Just fast and furious. So here's our card for the night. One more time. I am happy with it. Peekaboo card. Challenge I want to. I'm sorry. Challenge. Oh, thank you. I always forget this part. Um, Peekaboo card, rose garden lettering, tie dye, and you can use. <laughs> you changed it to eighteen. Um, you can use like a stamp for the sentiment. We're going to count that. Now for you to submit, this is how you need to, this is what you need to do. To play along with us, complete a unique project of your own using the same param four parameters, which are right there at the bottom of our screen. You have 48 hours, which is basically 7.30 on Sunday evening, Central Time, and your work will be featured right here on episode 15 and on my blog Monday morning. So uh, you can share and have bragging rights and, and um, have some fun with it. So, yep, make your cards, girls, and then I get to brag about you and all the cleverness that you come up with. Thanks, you, Sue. I think it's fun, too. I do. It is. So, anyway, that was it for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. <sighs> I really thought I was doomed on this one. I did. I thought I was all over. I thought I was, I was a goner. But no, no. The crafting spirit perseveres and we carry on. And I hope you carry on all weekend and get your fingers real inky and messy. And we will see you on campus next week is our third week for scrapbookings, third week for cards plus. We have study hall on Monday night. That's our night to talk about our um, scrapbook planner. Um, so bring your phones with you um, and we'll get our pictures ordered for next month. And um, what else? And then craft roulette again a week from tonight. So it's a busy, busy time. Always fun. Always time for crafts. Thank you so much. I'm going to sign out. Have a wonderful week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.